Hey, what's going on YouTube? Tenpin Designs here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial that'll really help you out in making some images brighter and uh, giving a little spotlight sort of effect that you really won't need any extra brushes or anything like that to download. It's all in the presets. So, what I have here is a thumbnail that I made for Spaz My Dogs. I'll put the link to the video in the description if you want to go check it out. Um, so, he wanted a black and sort of blue... Uh, color scheme on the thumbnail, so that's what I gave him, but when I was making it, it looked kind of like this when I was making it. It was kind of dark and drab and gloomy, and it wasn't an image that was going to pop off the subscription boxes or the home screen, so what I had to do was an effect that I put on a lot of my designs, my thumbnails and backgrounds and everything, is something with brushes. Now, I'll show you what I do. Um, the first step, if we get rid of the layer, um, the first step that we want to do is make a new layer above your background layers, above what you want to make brighter. So, say I didn't want to make the cut elite, uh, that's not right, that's the wrong one. Um, I didn't want to make these cut elite emblems and the text and everything brighter or anything. I just wanted to make the background. So, I put the layer new above the two background layers. So, the next thing you want to do. Let's come over here to your brush tool, click on it, then right click in your canvas, and go to your brushes, they should be the first ones there unless you've installed any new ones, and you can click on any of these, I'll just start with 300, and make sure your hardness is at zero, change the size to, uh, I'm going to start with around 400, but it really depends on your um, canvas size. So. Before we make any clicks and make any brushes on here, we want to make sure that our foreground color is white. Go down here and click on the foreground, make sure it's white. And then you can start clicking in spots you want to sort of spotlight and uh, make brighter. So I'm just going to click around here and we can change the sizes a little bit. Uh, just vary it up. And it all depends on what kind of design you're doing, how many you want, and. Uh, you know where to put them and stuff like that so make one really big one say 440 just kind of like that there we go that should look pretty good so if we go back to our layers um, now if it, it, unless you change it to a different blending mode um, it'll stay on white so you want to put it to overlay and there you go it makes it look a lot brighter uh, if you put it on subtract or something it'll make it like black so put it on overlay and it'll make it brighter and uh yeah i hope this helps you out if it does please leave a like rating and i'll talk to you guys next time it was a quick tutorial but uh i think it'll help you guys out so all right that's it uh if you liked it like it and i'll see you later